following on your partner. Trapezius muscle. The proximal attachment of the trapezius starts at the medial third of the superior aspect of the nuchal line, the external occipital protuberance, the nuchal ligament, and spinous processes of C7 through T12 vertebra. The distal attachment is the lateral third of the clavicle, acromion, and spine of the scapula. The latissimus dorsi muscle has its proximal attachment at the spinous processes of the inferior sixth thoracic vertebra, the thoracolumbar fascia, the iliac crest, and the inferior three to four ribs. The distal attachment is the floor of the intertubercular groove of the humerus. The supraspinatus muscle has its proximal attachment at the supraspinous fossa of the scapula and has its distal attachment at the superior facet on the greater tubercle of the humerus. The infraspinatus muscle has its proximal attachment at the infraspinous fossa of the scapula and its distal attachment at the middle facet on the greater tubercle of the humerus. The teres minor muscle has its proximal attachment at the superior part of the lateral border of the scapula and its distal attachment on the inferior facet on the greater tubercle of the humerus. The subscapularis muscle has its proximal attachment at the subscapular fossa and its distal attachment on the lesser tubercle of the humerus. The triceps brachii muscle has three heads. The long head has its proximal attachment at the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. The lateral head has its proximal attachment at the posterior surface of the humerus, superior to the radial groove. And the medial head has its proximal attachment on the posterior surface of the humerus, inferior to the radial groove. The distal attachment for all three heads is the proximal end of the olecranon of ulna and fascia of the forearm. The rhomboid minor and major muscle have their proximal attachment at the nuchal ligament and spinous processes of C7 and T1 vertebra for the minor and the major has its proximal attachment on the spinous processes of T2 through T5 vertebra. They share a distal attachment on the medial border of the scapula from the level of the scapular spine to the inferior angle. demonstrating the active range of motion of the following motions at the shoulder joint. Flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, circumduction, external or lateral rotation, internal or medial rotation. Instruct your partner in demonstrating the passive range of motion at the shoulder joint. Flexion. Extension. Abduction. Adduction. Circumduction, Circumduction. 
internal or medial rotation and external or lateral rotation. Demonstrate the biceps brachii reflex on your partner. Place your thumb over the biceps brachii tendon and tap over the thumbnail with the reflex hammer.